okay we are very far into our HTML coding already and now we want to play around the HTML code but in a more server-like environment uh, all right so the first thing is of course I need my HTML files I have one of them over here so let me just show what it is I will open with let's say Google Chrome and just a few header but look at the URL that you have up here is actually the directories folders all the way down to the file name in this case is one dash one dot HTML right now I'll just close this to create a small environment for your web server uh, you can use web server or you can use a XAMPP actually MPP both of them will work all right what you need is actually you need the Apache so I need to turn on my Apache first and now my Apache is on once the Apache is on I need to actually keep the XAM open I can minimize it if I want to but I need to keep it open because if you close it the entire server will close and then it won't work all right now I'm going to go into my C drive to where I install my XAM server I should see a folder called htdoc this is where most of the HTML will reside I'm going to open this htdoc and you will see certain things inside here already uh, try not to touch this okay because unless you know what you're doing all right try not to touch this you can create a new folder okay so I can create a new folder so let's say I call this folder test so now I have a test folder which is empty I can copy or cut in this case my files and place it inside here but I will not open this file by using right click open with okay I'm not gonna do this instead first I'm gonna launch my browser if I want to point to my own machine I will use HTTP colon slash slash localhost what is my folder name slash test and what is the file name one dash one dot html I will get to run that particular file right. so you don't see it like a directory c colon slash slash files and so forth but it acts somewhat more like a web server where you have something slash something slash html or and so but here is the interesting thing okay let me close this i'm gonna rename this file to index i'm gonna rename this file into index so now it is index.html i'm gonna launch my web browser again localhost h o s t slash test which is the folder or in this case actually it's a directory but i'm not going to put one the index.html instead i'm just going to hit enter and i will get that file executed see up here there is no uh, index.html actually the index.html is actually the first file that will be loaded when you point to a particular web server so the index.html is supposed to be your main page your home page then from the index.html you can create your hyperlinks or your menus right 
to other subsequent pages all right so just remember if you really want to play around with this all you need to do is look for the htdoc folder create a new folder right, so that you don't mess up your xam or web server load in your index.html as your main page then you can add all your other pages here and create the hyperlinks to them but remember you are now pointing to your own machine as a local host